Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dan Harper Realtor. Well, today I'm back at the acreage section of Vintage Oaks in New Braunfels, Texas, because behind me is a beautiful home being built by Perry Homes, and we're about two weeks away from closing on it, so I'm going to do a new construction follow-up tour for one of my clients. Let's go check it out. All right, this is a beautiful home. This is the largest plan that Perry Homes makes. The plan number is 4357. And conveniently, Perry makes their all their plans the same as the square footage of this house. So this is a huge house. I mean, 43, 57 square feet, that's big. I do know that Perry is building another one of these plans just a little bit further in the corner of this community, and it's gonna be gorgeous. Um, they just got the foundation going. I think some framing's up. I don't know if they're authorized to sell it yet, but they do have two more plans very similar to this one they're going to be about just over 4100 square feet but those are great awesome actually not far from here but some great lots that are getting those built so if you're in the market looking for it keep this video as reference also just to let you know the buyer of this house is now a real estate agent too with Cobalt banker dan harper realtors so his name is Brandon Smith. I will put his phone number down in the comments. So they're scheduled to close on this house in about two weeks. So even after that, if you're considering getting this plan, feel free to reach out to Brandon. And uh, I know he'd be happy to be your realtor because of course it costs you nothing to use a real estate agent. So, uh, and he can give you some really good insights on the process of building with Perry Homes. All right, let's get on with the tour. This is a gorgeous house. This is a living room. I usually do these new construction videos on Sundays, hoping that there's no uh, trades doing stuff, but they are working hard. So you are gonna hear some noise in the background. They're working on the floor, finishing things up. This is a unique room. This is the office slash library and it's a two-story one it's been a while since i've actually put a video on youtube of this house and so much has changed including all the flooring the painting the electrical let's head upstairs and then we'll head check out the kitchen stuff this is i love this spiraling staircase going around upstairs you do have a really nice guest room set up here or bedroom for that teenager that wants to have a little space for themselves because it's got its own full bathroom with the shower tub combination but still it's kind of nice these are I believe nine or ten foot ceilings in the second floor which is very nice all right beautiful entry this space over here my first video tour i was like what the heck is that and now i know it's just kind of a place if you have a really tall ladder you can put up some nice vases or plants or something but uh show you a little sneak peek of the living space from above and then we'll head on down the catwalk we do have a couple more bedrooms back here so kind of your standard size bedrooms, still with the fairly tall ceilings. And they're gonna be a take on a Jack and Jill bathroom because they do share most of it. But you do have your own sink. And then you'll share the toilet, a bathtub. Like I said, they're still working on this house. Like two more weeks until they close. And this room's gonna have its own sink as well and a little bit bigger space and a little bit bigger closet because this room has its uh, little mini walk-in closet right there. You do have access to your attic space. So this would be what I like to call the Texas basement. So putting some uh, flooring in there, this is over the garage so they don't have all the insulation on it but perfect for putting some more boards down there for storing your Christmas decorations. All 
All right, let's head back downstairs and uh, look at this main living space. We got a movie room, a game room. This house has a lot of neat features to it. Pricing wise, um, right now, I think Perry is building this for right around a million dollars. Prices are changing so much in this market, it's hard to say exactly what it is. And of course, your total price depends on what you put into it. Your formal dining room, I kind of looked at this a little bit earlier. A little mini tray ceiling up there, kind of neat. But this is your main living space. Perry is real big on lots of window lighting and this is no exception. They got a great view out there. But you do have a beautiful fireplace. I was at the design center with the wife. We did this remotely because they were stationed in Germany at the time. And she picked out this, turned out very nicely. They do have the in-ground power, perfect if you have a motorized sink. Check out this island. This is beautiful, love how this granite has turned out. Just drop dead gorgeous. Another unique feature about Perry that they like to do is they'll have these additional storage space down underneath. Very neat. And all of these will end up opening up just for additional storage. All right, they did opt for the stacked ovens and microwave. Make sure you're not vertically challenged because I am 5'9 and I've got to reach up a little bit to get it, <coughs> get in there. Pardon me. This is a beautiful range top that they went for. They went big on this one. But they got the griddle in the middle, four burners, they got the pot filler, really, really nice. And she did, because I was a realtor on this, they did go for the single basin granite seal sink versus the stainless steel. I think that choice is gonna be a good one for years to come. But just look at the vastness of this house. I know when they saw this house for the first time in person when they PCS'd here from Germany, that they were just stunned at the grandness of this house. This space over here is gonna be your uh, breakfast nook or formal dining room, however you wanna do it. But just super tall ceilings. Let's go check out the view from the outside. Maybe not. I think they gotta work on that. So let's go a different route. Let's go check out the game room first. Well, this is kind of a bonus room area. It could be a game room, anything you want, but you still got the beautiful views. And this is the media room. Uh, earlier in the video, I mentioned that Perry's got some plans that are only 4,100 square feet. This is the only difference is the 4,100 square foot one does not have this media room. Speaking of which, I caught, I've already reached out to my clients and asked them, do they intend to put the uh, TV on this wall? Because that just doesn't make a lot of sense. And their answer was no. So they are working with Perry to find out. And the reason is your viewing space, putting on that short side would be right here. And you really don't want to be opening the doors to the seats. So ideally that should be over there. And they're going over the blueprints and trying to figure out if somebody messed up. And if so, they're gonna be fixing it because that's really where you want your stuff so the doors don't interfere with your seating. All right, let's see if I can get out this door first. But I do like that they have a pass through so you can put a TV here, make this your poker room, your pool table room, whatever you wanna do. All right, this door opens. Speaking of grandness, this is insane. Now I'm filming this kind of early in the morning, so we're only in about 10.30, so we still have the sun coming in on this side, but come the evening, this is all gonna be shaded. But we are, this is on a one acre lot, so it slopes from the front to the back. By the time we get to the back part of the house, 
this is sloped down a little bit so you do have some steps going down uh, be aware of that especially if you're looking for something a house and you've got large dogs hip dysplasia is something you got to pay attention to how many stairs are going to be in it but man this is just an incredible view especially if you clear out some of these small cedar you know, cedars and junifers uh, you just got a great view out here and a nice cross breeze too the builder put in the sod already so my clients could put a fence along where the sod's at vintage oaks does not allow those thick privacy fences but if you look off over there you can see they've got the wire mesh fence and that's perfect if you do have pets and you don't want uh, them wandering off in the woods there are lots of deer in this community so deer will be coming up they did opt for getting the gas connection and the TV uh, port out here to plug in. So this this space is going to be great for entertaining and just kind of come out and join the day. And of course, if you're smoking on a cigar or drinking scotch, it's definitely good for that too. All right, let's continue the tour back to this side of the house. I do want to finish with the owner suite last, but I want to check out this... Uh, there's another bedroom back here and this neat little cubby um let's see who's calling me that can wait let me just hang up on that using my watch okay they're gone neat little place put your coffee machine you've got a nice little built-in wine racks up here just beautiful they did go for the eight foot doors so especially in the tall ceilings like this you definitely want the eight foot doors but just like upstairs the kind of private guest bedroom with its own bath this one has it but downstairs close to the garage and it's got its own full Turn bath light on. so this room has its own bathroom as well so if you've got those long-term guests this is a great spot for them and you're a little separated from everybody else all right, let me let this guy go through. And I do want to show you quickly the garage. You do have a little mud room set up. Like I said, they're working out here a little bit, but this is a huge garage. It is plumb for water softener, but you've got your big two, it's almost like a two and a half garage set up. And then your third car with more space on the side. I mean, this thing is massive. So I'm super excited for them about that. All right. Oh, pantry wise. Okay, we do have a full size pantry right here. So you're going to have plenty of space. back into the main kitchen. I know they're working on some of the flooring in the master bath, so I'm gonna try not to get them too much in the video. All right, we're gonna go check out the master bedroom first. And here it is. Let me step over here just so you can see the windows that they have in this and the views they're gonna have waking up every morning. That's just going to be gorgeous. Super, super tall ceilings in this room. And uh, just beautiful views. Right, I want to show off the bathroom, but I apologize. We do have someone working here, so. Hey. Yeah. All right. We have dual vanities, and this is a full-size one over there with the makeup bench. The other vanity, all adult height vanity, so you're not bending over. Tray ceilings in here. Big, big soaking tub. And check out this shower. They have a mud set inside shower, so no real stepping over a big lip. And I really like the tile work these buyers picked out. Turned out really, really nicely. Multiple shower heads. So this bathroom is so big, so beautiful. Absolutely love it. We do have the uh, oh, closets. Well, this is just, that's a linen closet. I do want, it has two different uh, 
closets in here, so it's gonna have his and hers. They're still working in here, but you can see plenty of space for everything, super tall. And we're gonna go check out the other closet. And it can be about the same size as that first one, but completely separate, which is kind of nice because we know the wife's closet's probably going to be super messy and the husband's closet's going to be very clean and very organized. But that sneaky need that people don't realize sometimes is having this pass through from your master bath and closet straight into the laundry room. You still have a door that you can lock for keeping people out of your bedroom. But if you want to do laundry from your owner suite bedroom, it's really convenient. All right, and then we're right back into the main living space. Just love the grandness of this plan. All right, let's gonna wrap up the tour of this beautiful home built by Perry Homes in the acre section of Vintage Oaks, New Braunfels, Texas. Now, I mentioned earlier that the owners of this house, the buyers, they are now real estate agents too. So feel free to reach out to Brandon even after he, he closes on this house in two weeks. If you wanna set up your own personal tour, and if you wanna use him as your real estate agent, feel free, I'm not gonna be offended, he's a great guy. Um, and if you like these videos, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and keep sharing with your friends. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now, bye. All right, quick bonus feature here. I mentioned earlier in the video that Perry has some plans very similar to that. This is gonna be just over 4,100 square foot, same as the house we just videoed, but without that movie room. So you can see the lot, this is gonna back up to a deep, a long ravine back there. So you can have ultimate privacy back behind it. I don't know if in a long driveway leading into it and kind of step down, but this beautiful limestone wall kind of up in front of it. It could be a very unique house, set back a little bit. I'm excited to see how this comes out, but this house, I don't think they've sold it yet, or if they might be able to get, might have to wait a little bit longer than buy it, but keep that in mind, and either myself or Brandon can help, be happy to help you get this house under contract. But it's just absolutely beautiful out here in Vintage Oaks in this part of New Braunfels. So, okay, I'm going to wrap it up for now and uh, still keep hitting that like, subscribe, and share button and all that other stuff. All right, take care now.